here we are on the new DayZ map, Takistan. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install this new community map um, to your remote private community um, server, in particular Nitrado PC server is what we're kind of going to be looking at. So let's uh, let's quick quit out of this so my computer starts to run a little bit better and then let's get into the mechanics of uh, installing this uh, amazing map mod for Daisy on PC. As with most things Daisy, it all starts in the Steam workshop. So you want to go to Steam um, and you want to go into the workshop and you want to search for Takistan or Takistan Plus. As I say, this is the amazing work of Sipe Revenge. So if you play Takistan Plus and you get a little bit of enjoyment, maybe you install it on your server like I'm showing you how to do here, why not nip over to his PayPal and drop him a few bucks for the hard work that he's put in. So make sure, you're, make sure you subscribe to the mod. And then you, what you'll want to do is also subscribe to Dab's Framework from Inclement Dab. So subscribe to that. Um, I don't know if he's got a PayPal. There he is. Again, Dab does some amazing work for the Daisy community. So make sure you nip on over to his PayPal and drop him a few, drop him a few bucks or uh, join his Patreon. Now, once you've done that, what you want to do is fire up the Daisy launcher. And what that will make sure is it'll download the mods. So they're in, they're in the right place. I'm also, for this video, assuming that you've got... Uh, remote uh, public Daisy server, private server, working on Nitrado already. Okay, I'm not going to go into the details of, of how to do anything, and that you're familiar with using an FTP program such as FileZilla for uh, transferring um, all these files over, because that's what we're going to be doing. What I'll do is I'll put a few links in the description um, below the video to to videos that go into a little bit more depth about that but I'm not really going right back to the start with this sort of thing so what you'll want to do is you'll want to fire up your FTP program and you'll want to go to your site manager or whatever it is and for example for me I'm going to be using my PC Nitrado 1D so I can connect to that it's probably going to say we're already connected <laughs> as it is and then the first stage is going to be to copy the workshop files the, the workshop mod folders from our local version of daisy to our remote server folders in the cloud then we're going to copy the keys over then we're going to copy the um, mission folders over then we're going to go into the settings folder for the actual server on our nitrado web interface and change some things there so first things first let's get these folders copied up so as you can see on the right hand side this is my remote site so this is my nitrado website and it's got daisy standalone here and what you can see underneath these are these are all the mods and you can see actually i've already got dabs framework and Techstan plus uploaded because as you'd imagine i test this before i make the video and on the on the sorry on the right side and on the left hand side this is where we've got all the uh, local mods on my local computer now if you're not quite sure where these are if you can't find them when you're in the uh, Daisy launcher, if you click on the little arrow next to any of the mods, click on the three dots, click on open folder in Windows Explorer, just promise not to change anything. And then this is where all your mods are in Daisy. If you left click up here in the new address bar, then right click that, go back to your FTP program, and then paste that on top of there. That will then take you to exactly where you want to be. So, what you want to do then is you just want to scroll down and we're looking for Dabs Framework first. So, make sure you've left clicked on Daisy Standalone in the right hand window and then left click on Dabs Framework, right click, upload. And that will then upload that mod into here. It might take a couple of minutes to do so. Then, we want to scroll down to Takistan Plus, left click on it, right click, upload. Now, this one will take a little bit longer. Because there's a lot more details there and that will upload and then eventually it'll go boop, boop all finished now the next thing we want to do is as i said is the keys so if we scroll down on the right hand side to the keys folder for our server which is there and if we just click on that this is the keys folder down below if we scroll back up on the left hand side and go to uh 
Dabs framework and just open this up and then click on the keys folder there, you'll see the key there. So we just left click on that once, right click, upload. That will then upload the key into there. Close up Dabs framework, go down to Takistan, go into the keys folder, there it is. So left click on it and then right click, uh, upload. That will then upload those files to there. The keys kind of allow the server and the client to work together so they know they're synced from the same hymn sheet. The next thing we need to do is we need to put the mission files for Takistan onto our server too. So the mission files, they're the ones that have like all the XMLs in with all the loot economy data and quite a lot of other stuff as well. Um, and the way that you want to do that is within the Takistan Plus folder on the left hand side, if you just hit the little plus, see it says mission. So it'll say mission like that, we'll hit the plus. You've got offline.takistan plus. And then on the right hand side, we want to go down to where it says MP missions. And there we've got all our missions. So just make sure you've left left clicked on uh, MP missions. And then you want to left click on offline.takistan plus, right click, upload. Now this one will take a while to do, and that will upload them all into the missions folder on your server. Okay. So at this point, we've done most of the heavy lifting. We've got all the files into place. So what we need to do now is we need to tell our server to start with these mods and to start with the correct mission files as well. And in order to do that, we need to go over to Nitrado. So you go over to your Nitrado web interface. Um, here we go. 1D, this is my PC one that we're putting on. Click on the little uh, gears icon, and this will take us into the into the actual dashboard itself. Now what you want to do is just stop the server to start off with. So we're going to stop the server. Um, you may want to warn people in your Discord or however you communicate with your server players before just to make sure they're not all getting kicked off because you will be changing the map. So they're going to wake up in a different place. Now when you do change maps on a Daisy server like this, the, the old data for the old map and like the player information, like what stuff they had, the bases they build, the loot they had, that will all that all stays. Don't worry, they're not gonna lose it, but it's still gonna still gonna be there. Now things first, we want to go to the general settings here on the left hand side. So you click on general and scroll down. Da, 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 da. And we want additional mods. Alright, now you may well be running some mods already on your um, site and in fact if you're running a different map say Deer Isle you might be running the say the Deer Isle mod but what we want to add is we want to add Dabs Framework and at Takistan Plus so all you do is you just put add capital D AB space to capital F Framework semicolon there's a semicolon that separate these um, and then at capital T Akistan Plus to capital P with no space so that's all, that's what you put in. So at Dabs Framework, semicolon, at Takistan Plus. Seems to work in that order. Um, if you've got something like CF um, and Zombri Admin, put them before that. That worked for me on my local server. So once you've done that, save the changes. Then you're probably already using expert mode, but make sure you've got expert mode ticked. And then we want to go into the expert settings here. And then if you scroll down, what we're interested in is the template. Okay, see where it says template equals. Now your one will probably say template equals um, offline.chernerus plus or offline.enoch or offline.deerisle. But we want to put offline.textstand plus. Now with all these things, if you're not quite sure of your um, spelling, if you go to the folder where all your Daisy stuff is, and go into it and go into the workshop. They're all here. Okay, so you can, you can, with anything, say for example with uh, Takistan Plus, if you just left click it, wait a little bit, left click it again, you can then right click that name and copy that. And we could have done that to copy that name into the, uh, the, the additional mod setting. But we could also do now is if we go into Takistan Plus, go into the missions, there's the offline.takistan plus. So that's what the mission folder is called. So if we left click that once, left click it again, right click and copy that name now when we go back to here we can just paste that over the top and save the changes now you may well want to change the name of your server don't worry about these passwords obviously i change these passwords as soon as i've <laughs> i've made these videos 
Um, and you won't be able to save these changes unless your server is stopped. And I guess probably the other thing you want to do is if we go back to settings, general, you'd probably want to, um, sorry, expert settings, what am I talking about? Uh, yeah, 1D Endurance PC PVE. So it would now be, for in this case, it would be 1T for me, Endurance PVE uh, PC server. In fact, I think I might change that now to 1 Techistan. Like that. And let's save that. Okay, and then all you want to do now is you want to simply start the server, click Start, um, and then allow it to start. Tell everybody if you've changed any passwords or anything like that. Um, and tell people you've now got a brand new Takistan Plus map running on your remote Nitrado PC Daisy server. And people will have fun in the sun trying to survive in the desert. Okay, there we go. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have been, hit the like button. If you want to see more the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.